So I'm working on restoring this old sugarcane machete. Um, it came with the homemade pine handle uh, because the handle kept breaking off. And they used these T-nuts and regular screws, which it, it survived for a while. But he, he made the handle so thick because it had broken so many times. This is a antique from Puerto Rico uh, that a buddy's um, at TPS Industries, his grandfather gave it to him. So it's a family heirloom. Want to treat it with respect. Don't want to change it that much. I'm not even going to remove every bit of pitting. Um, uh, it would take it down too much. And... When you're doing this on a grinder with any kind of speed, you want it to be low and slow. Um, and I didn't use the heaviest grit. I went from 120 to uh, 600 to 1200. Because if you heat it up, you'll make it lose the temper, which is exceptionally important, especially in a blade this long. Um, because it bends a lot. It's got a lot of flex to it. Um, so the original handle ended about here. So one thing I did was I lengthened the handle and it still had I don't know if you can see, but it's still dull right here. It's still flat. I mean, the blade doesn't start until even farther up. So I could grind into it a little bit to give it a, make it a solid tang. And I will try drilling another hole uh, for to get one more pin in there. But that may not happen because... It's already hardened and tempered. Um, and sometimes getting through that can be exceptionally difficult. So, uh, that's for the future. But remember, if you're working on an old blade or an already finished blade and you're read, you want to do something to it, you got to keep it cool. Uh, you can't overheat it. And so, you know, using a angle grinder... You could use that to clean up the finish a little bit with an abrasive pad, but you don't, or you can use sandpaper, uh, steel wool. You just don't want to heat it up and change the temper and ruin what's already been done. So, next, um, he gave me some aged, I believe it's black walnut. So we're going to cut this into scales, pin it on here, and then glue it like a regular fixed blade. He doesn't actually plan on using it, um, but like all tools, it should be functional. And uh, hopefully it'll last a little longer than the pine handle and be a little more comfortable. <laughs> 